wealthiest people that have ever walked this earth. But because we don't want to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, we're at the bottom. Right. We're defending God's high holy day by buying and by selling out here. Out here. Read. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh huh. In like manner also. In like manner also. Read. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. It says modest apparel. What, is, what does modest apparel mean, you listen? Just speak up just a little bit for me, okay? What does modesty mean? To, it, it, so, you see, you see videos right now, right? Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, all these, all these uh, rappers, so-called rappers. How do they dress? Do they dress modest? They, they let all this hang out and got the tightest pants they, they can absolutely have on? Is that modest or is that's not modest? That's immodest. Right. That's what we call immodest apparel. But God says, read that again. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Uh, my, in modest apparel. That means you're supposed to cover up your body. That body is for your husband. You right. so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yeah. That's not for me to see. That's not for any of these people out here to see. That's for you and your husband. Right. Right? Boom. But society, this wicked, wicked land has said that, no, nah, get the tightest jeans that you want. So when a brother come up to you, he ain't going to be looking at you. He ain't going to be looking in your eyes. He going to try to wrap the coldest game that he can to get into what? Your pants. Teach. To get whatever he want, and then he going to stick you with a baby and leave. Right. Because you ain't proved that, brother. He ain't proved no sister. He's just going to wear up there. Thank you, ma'am, and I'm gone. Now you sitting with a baby. Now we got child support. Now you take him to court for child support. This is this is why our community is messed up the way it is. We got the highest rates of baby mamas. We have the highest rates of STDs. We have the highest we have the highest rates of child support because we don't want to prove each other. Well, I want to see you. Oh, we get down. We don't even know each other's name. One night stands. But God was never about that. He was about marriage from the from the beginning. Right. God right. was about marriage. He wasn't about baby mamas and baby daddies. This is why our why we at the bottom of this community right now. That's why I can go three miles this way and it's clean. But if I start coming this way, where my so-called Hispanic brothers is at, it start getting trashed on the ground. Houses is boarded up. Why? Because we didn't want to keep God's commandments. Right. And I'm going to show you that we are supposed to keep marriages in our community. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is what? Honorable in all. That means God likes marriage. He likes where a man and a woman can come together, but that man got to prove you. You got to prove him. Right. Right, and we're going to get that too. You got to prove him, and he's, he's going to have to prove you to make sure y'all are compatible. Make sure y'all have got the same goals. That y'all are worshiping the Most High God. Right. And His Son, Christ. Because if you if you worship it, the Most High God, and he's in Catholicism. Are y'all gonna work? No, you're not gonna work. Right. Read. Marriage is honorable in all. Uh huh. And the bed undefiled. So the bed is undefiled. What you and your husband or you and your wife want to do in the bedroom, as long as it's lawful, y'all not bringing in no other people, y'all not bringing in no animals or nothing like that. Hey, that's cool. Y'all do what you do, as long as it's lawful. But you got a stipulation in there. Read. But whoremongers. But what? Whoremongers. That's a that's a woman that likes to jump rod to rod to rod, or a man that likes to jump woman to woman to woman. That's a whoremonger. Right. Fulfilling their lust, their worldly lust. Read. And adulterers. And adulterers. That's married men and married women. That's that to be stepping outside their marriage, fulfilling their lust. That's what it is. Bring it on. It's fulfilling their lust. Again, 
fringes again. Look at my man Pacho got fringes. They, we know the law. We are the same people. Right. Our history is your history. Right. You went into captivity in 1492 with Christopher Columbus. Right. They didn't come get us until 1619. That's because they done wiped you guys out with swine flu. With smallpox. They done worked you to death. So once they eliminated the workforce, they had to replenish it. That's why in 1619, they came and got us. But let's finish this up right here. Hallmongers and adulterers, uh -huh. God will judge. Did he say may judge? Will judge. May judge. Will judge. It says he will. This is for a fact. Why? Look at our communities. Highest, highest baby, uh, highest unmarried, married people. When it comes to uh, marriages, who is who? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When it comes to STDs, we are the highest. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When it comes to baby mamas and baby daddies, right. guess what? We are the highest in, statistically, are we are highest above, uh, out of all nations. We are the highest. We are the highest. That's why God said marriage is honorable in all. If we start doing that commandment, guess what? It will start fixing our community immediately. Right. We don't have to wait for no we don't have to wait for no white man or no 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 white man to come in our community to tell us to get married. This will fix our community right now. Right. We won't be high in the STDs. We won't be high in baby mamas. The court this the child support system will crumble if we came back to marriage. Right. You understand what I'm talking about? All praises. Give me that. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. Uh-huh. I will therefore that the younger women uh -huh. marry. It says what? I will therefore that the younger women marry. So it said that the young women, young women, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God said he wants you to be married. Right. He wants you to be protected by your husband. Because if somebody break in the house, are you going to go and find out what's going on? No. You're going to send your husband to go see what's going on. Right? He wants a younger woman to be married. Read. Bear children. Bear children. Guide the house. And guide the house. But the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we do it all the way backwards. Right. We have babies. We have the babies first. You know what I'm saying? And then we want to see if we want to uh, stay together. We don't want to marry our sisters. Read. Guide the house. Guide the house. That means if a man go out to work, hey, take care of the children. Read. Give none occasion to the adversary. Give to, none, go ahead. To speak reproachfully. So you're not even supposed to, like, supposed to give your husband a hard time. Right? He, hey, both y'all know we got bills too. You know what I'm saying? But when he first come in the house after a long day of work, the first thing you want to talk about is bills. Talk about, we need this, we need that. Give him a rest. We know, and then we can discuss this. We're going to be able to discuss this, right? So, the reason why we're at the bottom of this society right now, right, is because we didn't want to follow God's law, statutes, and commandments. But I told you earlier, we wanted, in order, especially for you, Ulyssa, because you're 19, right? So, I want you to be able to prove. I want you to get around these, get around our school because we have a school right here on Division, right, right here in Chicago. I want you to get around the sisters, and the sisters are going to tell you and teach you. Go ahead, read that. Zephaniah chapter two and verse one. Uh huh. Gather yourselves together. You listen. It says, "Gather ourselves together." Right? Yeah. Gather together, O nation not desired. Old nation not desired. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are a nation not desired. No one wants, no one is coming down here to help help these potholes that's in our communities. No one's helping, no one's helping our 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 community get married. All they doing is pumping drugs into into our community. Right. That's all they want to do. So we gotta gather ourselves together. Read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together, O oh, nation not desired. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are not desired. We're the one that has ghettos in our communities. Barrios in our communities. 
We are, we are the, the poorest in our community. We are the poorest in our communities. We have food stamps and welfare in our community. Right. Why is that? Because we did not want to keep God, laws, statutes, and commandments. We are at the bottom of society because we don't want to do, we don't want to do God's commandments. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. This is a future prophecy. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. If thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you were not hearken. Hearken. Another word for hearken is to hear, to obey, to listen. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Some of his commandments. All his commandments. The commandments you feel like doing. All his commandments. All his commandments. What are some of the commandments? Keeping the beard on your face. Not hiding your brother in your heart. Keeping fringes on your clothing. Right. On the borders of your garments. Not having baby mama and baby daddy dramas. We want if we if we even kept the Ten Commandments. Our community will turn, will, will turn, will change in a day. Right. If we just did the one, thou shalt not kill. Just in our community. Guess what? Guess what? Our community will change just like that. Used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth. <laughs>